Speaker, yesterday the Prime Minister was unable to answer my question. So let me help him. When asked about a million dollar insurance policy from Mr. Kenman, on tape, the Prime Minister talked about financial issues, financial considerations, financial insecurity. Will the Prime Minister admit that he was talking about addressing Mr. Kenman's financial insecurity in exchange for his vote? The Right Honorable of Prime Minister. Absolutely not, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've been absolutely clear that what the party was talking to Chuck Cadman about was the financing of an election campaign. That's been absolutely clear, not just clear from me, clear from party officials, and clear by the statements of Chuck Cadman himself when he was alive in 2005. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. La thèse du Premier ministre est ridicule. Elle ne tient pas la route. Elle le, lui enlève toute crédibilité et il est isolé. Il est contredit par l'épouse de M. Kahneman, la fille de M. Kahneman, le gendre de M. Kahneman et par lui-même sa propre voix dans l'enregistrement. Et je cite, « L'offre faite à Chuck n'était que pour remplacer les pertes financières qu'il pourrait encourir s'il y avait une élection. » La question au Premier ministre, pourquoi il ne dit pas la vérité Monsieur le Président, c'est le euh, chef du Parti libéral, le Parti libéral, qui continue à changer l'histoire dans ce cas. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the Liberal Party said there was a meeting on May the, 9th, May the 17th. That's apparently now been withdrawn. Mr. Speaker, they claim that Chuck Cadman was not interested in running an election. That's contradicted by statements at the time. They claim that Donna Cadman was making allegations against me. She was very clear that she is not. They said that Chuck Cadman said he was bribed. It's on the public record that he, that he wasn't. And Mr. Speaker, they claimed he was offered a life insurance policy, which is simply not credible. So I wish they get their own story straight. Honorable order. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, I will tell you what is the most shocking in this interview by the Prime Minister on the tape. It's when he speaks about his operatives who were going to make an offer to Mr. Kahneman. The Prime Minister said on the tape, don't press it on shock. It will not work. The Prime Minister said it will not work. Never, he said, it's wrong. It's illegal. Why not? Order, the right honorable prime minister. Well, and the credibility of the leader of the opposition's own behavior on this is pretty clear. Mr. Mr. Speaker, it is very clear for months the Liberal Party has no issues, so they are re resorting to smear and to allegations of scandal. Mr. Speaker, this is a this is a party that, while it says we're guilty of corruption, votes to keep us in office. This is the same party, Mr. Speaker, that brings in a non-confidence motion against the NDP. And Mr. Speaker, this is a party and a leader who yesterday gives the Bloc and the Separatists advice on how to win the next referendum. Quite a show he's running over there.